Hello guys, so this is topic 7.3. So reaction quotient and equilibrium constant. Today's objective, be able to represent the reaction quotient for a reversible reaction and the corresponding equilibrium uh, expressions. So the reaction quotient QC describes the relative concentrations of reaction species at any time. For gas phases, the reaction quotient may be written in terms of pressure. The reaction quotient tends towards equilibrium constants such as that the equilibrium Kc equals Qc and Kp equals Qp. So I have a few examples we're going to look at, and it depends on what, depending on what type of um, substance we're dealing with. So we're going to look at concentrations, uh, partial pressures, so looking at gases. Um, however, solids and pure liquids are not taken into consideration for these reaction quotients. Some reactions reach equilibrium when there are more products, while others reach equilibrium while there are fewer products. Just guess it just depends on the situation itself. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. We can rewrite the reaction quotient or equilibrium constants in terms of concentrations or partial pressures. So solids and liquids are not included. Okay. However, solutions are, so most likely it'd be aqueous. And then systems with gases, we're going to use partial pressures, atmospheres, millimeters of mercury, kilopascals. Um, for solutions, we're going to use concentration or molarity for these. For any reaction given a, well, you can read it. <laughs> so for solutions, they're going to be in concentration. So that's what the symbol, the brackets resemble. If you notice that the coefficients, those actually kind of pop up as, if you will, exponents when you're, when you're reading this. And it's going to be products over reactants. <clears throat> for gases, we're going to use P for pressure. And we'll put in parentheses, so it'll be P like of H2O or P of, uh, let's say, CO2. And then the exponent, if you will, for these are going to be the coefficients. So it's going to be reactants, I'm sorry, products over reactants, products over reactants. Look at a couple examples here. <clears throat> so for the first one, we have two moles of Cu2 plus plus Pb2 plus in a reversible reaction with two C copper ions and then a lead four plus ion. These are all in, sol all in solution, they're all aqueous. So these are concentrations. <clears throat> so the products Cu plus squared times Pb4 plus to the first power over Cu2 plus squared times Pb2 plus. So solids and liquids are not included. Make sure you are balanced, gentlemen. So N2 plus 3H2 and a reversible reaction with 2NH3, all of these are gases, so all of these will be part of the equilibrium constant of reaction quotient. And so it's P sub NH3 squared over P sub N2 times P sub H2 cubed. So write out the reaction, the, sorry, the equilibrium coefficient for the following expression, assuming it's at equilibrium. So these are all pressures. So we can say K sub P for pressure equals P C, oops, my bad. P sub CO2 cubed times P sub H2O to the fourth over P sub C3H8 the 1 times P sub O2 to the fifth. So for now, we're just being able to write out these uh, equilibrium constants. So the decomposition of solid calcium carbonate, CaCO3, produces solium, solid calcium oxide, CaO, and CO2 gas. Write and balance the equation, then write a reaction quotient. So if you feel inclined, pause the video, and then We'll see what, how you do. 
All right, so I have solid calcium carbonate, CaCO3 solid. So this is in a equilibrium. Um, this is we're going to assume that this is going to be an, an reversible reaction. CaO solid plus C oops plus CO2 gas. So right and balanced. So are we balanced? Yes, we are. Write a reaction quotient. So we see that. Well, I'm going to write it out first. So the reaction quotient. So Q sub P equals P sub CO2. And that's going to be my reaction quotient. So why didn't I incorporate the other ones? Because they're solids. You don't incorporate that into the reaction quotient. Okay. So that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions.